hailing from Lewiston, Idaho. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Andrew Whitfield. Tonight, making his highly anticipated professional debut, joining us from Zamboanga City of Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yumir Felix de Los Santos Marshall. You both got your instructions, okay? Obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. Good luck to you both, okay? Four rounds. And he said he's dedicating this fight to his brother and also to the birthday of Manny Pacquiao, who's celebrating his 42nd birthday in the Philippines, that's the his, senator himself. That's his idol right there. And that, I think that's every Filipino fighter's idol is Manny Pacquiao. And it's sad to hear his brother pass away, but also good to see him be able to pull it together and get in the ring and do what he loves to do. Well, not only that, but Manny yeah. Pacquiao is his promoter. He signed to MP Promotions. This kid is heavy-handed. You don't see too many, you know, bigger... Uh, Filipino fighters and he's a, he's a middleweight with Marshall he said he's focused on trying to become a gold medalist the first gold medalist from the Philippines he said that that is exactly what his father's dream is and he said that he thinks that that's what's keeping his father alive not that his father's mm -hmm. having any health issues mm -hmm. but he is getting up in age mm -hmm. uh, as a professional boxer he's also a part of the Air Force as well in the Philippines a nice straight left for the South Pole out of the Philippines he has Heavy hands, and there's a straight left back it up, Andrew Whitfield. Yeah, he's got heavy hands. I like to see him. Oh, but he just got tagged by Andrew Whitfield. Shaking it off. He's okay. shaking it off. <laughs> Showing a good beard. But the paper maker and Andrew Whitfield certainly came to fight. Ooh, oh my goodness. Yeah, ooh. This is what we know about this fight. We knew want to and want to bring the fight to Marshall, and he's doing that. Yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I'm, I'm surprised to see him not use his feet a little more and not use more hand speed. A lot of amateurs, they, especially pro, they're, they're mostly hand speed and foot movement, and I'm surprised not to see that from Marshall. A straight left followed by a right hook from Marshall, a right uppercut by Whitfield, who answers. Uppercut brought it. Andrew Whitfield, he's a paper maker, but it's actually very dangerous to be in the ring with Yumir Marshall as Marshall looking to unload. 10 seconds, guys. On Andrew Whitfield. Yeah. Stop at the bell. So far. Thank you very much, Heidi. Well, yes, largely important to Yumir Marshall. Actually captured the silver medal at the Aiba World Championships last year. But look at Marshall go. I, I mean, I got a comment on Whitfield right now. He is tough. He is taking some shots. There's, there's three or four shots now that he's taking right on the chin that I thought he would go down. So. There's a big straight left that connected by Yumir Marshall. Marshall very instrumental and said to him, listen, I believe you're going to win a gold medal, and I'm going to help you become a world champion. I, I like to see Marshall use his experience right now uses intelligence right now you dig into the body you're getting off when you want to get some space so you're not wearing any punches tonight you don't need to take those punches create some space and, and use a, a good jab and, and punch from the outside where you're not susceptible to being hit there's a left to the body and a right to the body it is now target practice they both are just unloading upon one another in the center of the ring i guess marshall's gonna go for it i, I know i said he needs some space but he's about to go for it i think he he sees that uh Whitfield's just a punch or two away well what you're watching right now is sockham robots which man is going to be able to and the other's power punches. Yeah, hit and get hit. Or hit, and, hit and don't get hit. Oh, it's entertaining the for the viewers at home. I tell you that. Oh, Sean. for sure. I'm not. You know, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna knock it and say it's not entertaining. But again, if you're Marshall, this is your debut. Save your body. Don't take this kind of. Don't get in this kind of firefight this early on. There's no point right now. Well, give credit to Andrew Whitfield, yeah. who's right eye swelling considerably, but he's just. Planting his feet and unloading, and Marshall seems willing to oblige that request. Or, or Marshall just wants to be a, a hard, punching, powerful fighter until he knocks out Whitfield. Under 30 seconds remaining, the right eye of Andrew Whitfield swelling considerably, but he still continues to charge forward. Uh, boxing is not what you see in the movies, but this eye, <laughs> this right eye of Whitfield, I've only seen in movies. I don't think I've seen this in real life. It reminds me of like Rocky 1 and 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you're going. This is classic fight right here. 
Let's make a bet. All right. Let's bet some push-ups. Oh, I, you know what? I don't think I want to compete in that department. A uh, Filipino fighter is to come over here and get to the States, particularly in L.A. with Freddie Roach. But it works to your advantage because uh, Freddie has a liking to, to, to the southpaw stance. And also, Freddie is, you know, works under, or, you know, Marvin Tomodi works under Freddie Roach as well. And now Marshall just teeing off on Andrew Whitfield. With more on Andrew Whitfield, here's Heidi Andrew. He explained to me that he had to remove the blood, and so that's what he was doing with his thumb. He was moving it, Ugh. moving the blood away so that it doesn't form a hematoma. Then you apply the cold compress. Well, that's some quality cut work. Yeah, Thank you very much to Heidi Andrew, literally getting in the trenches there. Yeah, there you go. In round three, Yumir Marshall looks terrific thus forward. He's one tough dude. Yeah, he is. That, that Whitfield went out there with the understanding that this, this could be his last round, and it may very well be. All right, hooked to the body by Yumir Marshall. Actually made this fight easy by boxing and staying on the outside, but instead he just wanted to go. His fighting style, he looks like he wants to be a strong fighter in your experience. To wear down the fighter and then to try to take him out. In a moment of the third, one more round remaining with the pro debut of Yumir Marshall, an income in a division <laughs> world champion that you have. Blue corner. Freddie says, take your time, use your jab, and, and try to set it up. And then <laughs> you had uh, Whitfield's corner say, hey, take your time. Same, take your time, be patient, and then start to pour it on the end. They're going to tell him to, to, to turn it up uh, this round. Well, Marshall has landed 84 power punches, Whitfield just 35, but both men certainly testing each other's will to win. There's a straight left that connected right on the jaw of Whitfield. Absolutely. Take a look at Whitfield's eye, but I'm appreciative. Rudy Badagan, who's been a referee for four years. This is Montes Daniones from, the Philipp from Lithuania. He's being trained by a Filipino. They said, he said, let Whitfield's corner, let Marshall and, and hit him when he comes to you. I'm like, I'm wondering if that was the game plan to start, would you have had a little more success tonight? Because now he's starting to really touch Marshall up with both hands. Well, had 30 amateur MMA fights in this. Uh, anybody wondering why a guy would get in the ring and, and wait, or wondering, you know, what's this guy doing being a professional fighter? This love. And you can see that Whitfield has it. What about Yumir Marshall? What do you take away from his performance tonight in his pro debut? You know, his first fight, I, I think first fight in the United States, you know, a, a whole list of things. I mean, you got a lot to learn from. Uh, I can't even criticize him right now with because of all that being said. He's looked solid tonight. I mean, he hasn't lost a minute of this fight, but he's being tested by Andrew Whitfield. Yeah, he's being tested, and, and I personally see a lot of holes, but I think those holes will be uh, uh, corrected very quickly. Final moments, and the 25-year-old will go the distance with Andrew Whitfield. For your winner by unanimous decision from the Philippines, Yumir Marshall. So one pro fight, one pro victory. He dedicated it to his older brother who passed away, and also his promoter, the eight-division world champion, the Senator Manny Pacquiao.